Hi, my name is Corey and I'm an Applications Engineer for Hawkgrid Systems and today we're going to be taking a quick look at importing different 3D file formats and using FeatureWorks to modify these parts inside of SolidWorks. So the first thing I have to do is I have to open up my non-native SolidWorks file type which is going to be an IGS file and it opens up this bracket and IGS being an older file type isn't typically very reliable when bringing over and importing into the 3D environment. Um, typically it'll have stuff like faces missing and so SolidWorks gives me this option if I wish to run import diagnostics on this part. So if I go ahead and accept this, SolidWorks is able to tell me that there is a faulty face in this model and SolidWorks can quickly go ahead and heal that for me. So I'm working with a complete solid that way. So the next thing it asks me is if I want to proceed with feature recognition. And I'm going to go ahead and come back to this later on. It's easy to access this from your menus as well. So I'm in this environment with imported one, which is a dumb solid, meaning it has no features applied to it inside SolidWorks. It's one solid block. And I need to go ahead and I want to edit this. And maybe I don't want to edit the entire part, but I only want to edit a couple features. Well it turns out that if I right click on one of these features and just go into edit feature in SolidWorks, feature recognition is able to pick up that fillet and then I can go in and I can actually individually edit the size of that fillet and I could change it from like 20 to 30 millimeters. And as well SolidWorks can do the same thing with these holes as I can edit this whole feature and so go ahead and recognize this as a 10 millimeter diameter hole wizard feature. So in case that's not the route I want to go and I don't want to just edit individual things without modifying the entire solid body, um, I can go back in uh, to imported one and I'm able to here go ahead and come under feature works and I can set up my options for how I want this to happen. In my general options for feature works, the first thing is I have this option to either overwrite the file I'm using or create a new file. I typically always create a new file in case I make mistakes along the way, so that's very helpful. In dimensions and relations, I can make sure that when SolidWorks goes ahead and creates these features automatically, it's able to put in sketches with dimensions and all the relations. Otherwise, what happens is it brings it in um, undefined. And so this would just allow it to come in and be fully defined. But I'm going to go ahead and leave that alone for now. Under my advanced controls, I also have this option for holes. And this one's really important because I can either have the holes recognized as hole wizard features, or if I turn that off, they're going to be seen as cut extrudes. And then lastly, the automatic recognition option down here allows me to choose whether I want to combine fillets and the same with chamfers and holes. And all that's saying is that when the feature recognition happens, it can go ahead and make every single hole its own individual feature. Or if there's four same size holes on one face, it will just make them one feature like you would want for your design intent. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that checked. So now coming back into that feature works option, I can go into recognize features. And here the very first thing is for my recognition mode. I have the option to go ahead and automatically or interactively do the recognition on my solid body. If I do interactive, what it's going to ask me to do is pick what type of feature it is, and then I go ahead and select the boundaries of these features. And so I could go and individually select this as a square extrusion. However, if I leave, I'm going to leave it on automatic because SolidWorks is going to easily be able to recognize those extrusions for me so I don't need to interactively point it out. Also something to note is instead of standard features I could work with sheet metal features under feature works so that's good to know. So in my automatic features option down here at the bottom left I have multiple choices of things to go off of like extrude features that this program will search for revolves, holes, and other things. And I have drafts and volume turned off because I don't have any of that on my part that I need it to search for. So if I go ahead and click the right next arrow, SolidWorks is going to go ahead and it's going to locate what features it can on my part. And so it's located this base extrude for the whole bottom of my bracket plate. 
and it's located the top two extrudes as well. And as I walk through this, notice that it's located the whole features and any holes that are on the same on the same face it's gone ahead and put as a group thanks to having checked that box in the options. Also what you're going to notice is inside my solid body notice how that hole that I already recognized and that fillet that I already recognized are missing here and the reason they're missing here is when I've gone ahead and set those as features SolidWorks has removed them from my solids so I don't set them a second time so it already knows those are features and it's saving them in my feature manager design tree I also have this option down below for fine patterns and this is just really going to come into play if I had a circular or linear pattern that I needed to point out that way it saves a specific feature or cut or holes and it's going to save it as a pattern feature <clears throat> since I don't have any patterns I can go ahead and skip that and I'm going to accept and let feature works check and find all of my different features for this now notice how this hole and this fillet have come back and they are now have their own place in the feature manager design tree so they still existed it is still keeping that in the background so something really interesting and unique at this point is notice how this is totally editable inside SOLIDWORKS now any of these boss extrudes have their own sketches and so I could go ahead and I could edit the sketch for any of these extrusions just like anything else in SOLIDWORKS adding dimensions and relations here and of course beyond that I can even go in and edit the individual features at this point. This is a complete SOLIDWORKS part with features now and it's 100% editable. So in today's video we covered feature recognition to automatically extract features and edit a part. So thank you for watching and look for more videos from Hawkridge Systems.